Of course, folks, I'm going to get to reviewing Sacrifice sooner than later. Great show. Outstanding show. Outstanding card. But I have to react first to the production issues that continue to plague this company every single time they do one of their monthly specials. I'm going to make a statement right now. Some of you may agree. Some of you may disagree. But I'm going to make the statement anyway because I fully believe it. They do not care. They don't care. This is consistent. This is a consistent issue since 2018, at least. I think 2018, maybe 2017 is when they started doing this. In the early days, the majority of the issues were with the, t- the Twitch streams. And then they would do the Impact Plus or whatever the hell the app was called back then. And it wasn't horrible. But now it is becoming a monthly occurrence. And it happens every year. Dating back to them doing this shit. They don't care. Otherwise, this would have been handled years ago. There are small internet, excuse me, I was going to say small independent wrestling companies that do internet pay-per-views, that do iPay-per-views, and they don't have issues like this. They don't care. Now, one of the problems, when you have a workplace where everyone's family Yes, it does make it a fun place to work. But then you don't make the necessary changes. You don't replace people with others who are better and more qualified. Because you don't want to hurt feelings. Because you're a family. Families fight, folks. Families aren't supposed to just get along all the time. Families make hard decisions within the family. Parents ground their kids. Parents spank their kids. Parents kick their kids out of the house. I am not going to sit here and pretend that I know anything about live streaming a wrestling show. I don't. I, I, I frankly do not know. But they have proven, due to the consistency of these issues, the production issues, to where the feed cuts out, we lose audio, we get background noise. They don't care, folks. I'm sure they would love to have a good quality stream. But at the end of the day, whether they do or don't, they don't fucking care. I've been recording for my cell phone the last couple of weeks because I've had issues streaming my podcasts in my house here. And I'm struggling to figure out what those issues are. I'm having my computer looked at. I'm, I'm taking measures. Okay, so that once I'm ultimately back recording in my setup, I don't have issues anymore. These are professionals, or at least supposed to be. This is the third re- biggest wrestling company in the world. At one point, they were the second biggest company in the world. I know nothing about what they do, but I do know that whatever it is, They are not doing a good job of it. You can only blame this and that for so long. This has been years of this, and there's no change. There's no improvement. It's every single time they do an Impact Plus show. That match with the system and ABC was damn near ruined, and that was one of the bigger matches on the card because nonstop buffering and like my... Son loves to yell at the Xbox sometimes, lagging. This is crazy. This is absolutely fucking bananas. And how can you even promote this show again going forward? Like, if I have a podcast that I know just sounded like shit, you're not going to see me post it on social media. This this card is... this, This sacrifice card is killer. There was killer. It was last night. Great show. 
but it, it's completely hurt by these constant issues. And then they get on Twitter every time, apologize, and we're going to uh, re-upload, and then, no, fuck you, fix it. What I said on Twitter, everyone was a big fan of, unfuck your dicks. Like, fucking fix this shit, TNA Wrestling. I said this at the end of 2023. You have one opportunity to rebrand this thing. You have one opportunity to become the alternative wrestling company. And so far, we are back to the issues that made Impact Impact. Fucking fix it. You can say, I'm sorry to the fans till you're blue in the fucking face, but they are words. When we have everyday relationships with people and they disappoint us and they say sorry, at one point sorry means nothing if they continue to do it. This is no different. That is why I'm saying TNA Wrestling in 2024 does not care about these audio issues. Because if they did, they would have handled it a long time ago.